You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt. And with what Stefan Demera did this past week, or, or should I say who he did this past week, it is well past time for a recast Gabby Hernandez Demera to be on the scene to deal with this mess. With that in mind, I've got a little to-do list that I think she needs to accomplish, things I want to see her do once she's out of her whole orange is the new black scenario, you know, once she's out of Statesville. Please click subscribe if you haven't already. And now let's look at this to-do list for the recast version of Gabby Demera. The first thing I think she needs to do is threaten to kill Lee Shen for good. I mean, clearly the guy's not dead. Remington Hoffman already hinted at his return. We know Lee's not dead. He was clearly conspiring with Dr. Rolf or somebody was conspiring on his behalf, but I think it was him to get killed and then get resurrected, take off on that Damaris submarine so that he could screw over Gabby. Of course, Rolf likes the Demeras, but Gabby is not necessarily on his nice list. And Rolf is a known resurrector, and he was in town. When somebody dies and Rolf is in town, you know, that's enough for me to assume they're coming back. Lee coming back alive would absolutely exonerate Gabby and get her out of jail. Of course, then she'd know he set her up and, you know, she would probably come for him. Too bad that she wasn't already convicted of killing him. If she'd already been convicted and then he came back to life, she could really kill him because they couldn't prosecute her for it because that'd be double jeopardy. You know that? Legal point. All right. My number two thing on Gabby's to-do list is to kick Ava Vitale's narrow ass for banging her man. Ah, I mean, it's one thing for Ava to conspire with Stefan to sell drugs to protect their loved ones. It's quite another to get drunk and sweaty with him and let him take her to pound town. I know a lot of you guys were hoping that those sex scenes were some sort of imaginary thing or a fantasy sequence, but no, they did the deed, they did the dirty, they made the two-backed beast, and now, as of Monday, both of them are feeling very guilty, her about Harris, whom she cares for, and Stefan about Gabby, whom he loves, but their guilt and regrets will not save them from the wrath of Gabriela Hernandez. Do not kid yourself. I could actually see Gabby getting physical with Ava over this. A slap, a punch, a literal kick in the behind. If Gabby still has a cast on her broken leg, maybe she can just put that boot in Ava's skeevy husband screwing butt. I mean, as for Stefan, Gabby needs to hit him where it hurts. Let's talk about him next. Number three on my Gabby Hernandez to-do list is crushing Stefan's manhood and taking everything from from him. I I don't know if Gabby would eventually forgive Stefan Demera. I think I think eventually she would, but in the short run, I could see her taking him to the cleaners and making him miserable. And honestly, after sleeping with Ava, Stefan feels so guilty, he might let her. I mean, she might demand all of his shares of Demera Enterprises, a hefty divorce settlement, keys to the mansion, kick him out. I don't even know. But I will say, I don't see Stefan and Gabby splitting for reals or forever. They're just too good together. And there's a crap ton of stabby fans out there waiting on the reunion. But I can see her putting him through his paces, scaring him into thinking she'll divorce him and making him sweat, making him work for it before she reunites with him. Now, to be fair, Stefan did everything he could to physically protect her while she was in prison, including dealing drugs and risking his own freedom. And in fact, this week, his big brother, EJ Demera, taunts Stefan about all the drug raids by the cops and tells him he's going to wind up in prison, too. He's probably not wrong. Things are very sketchy right now. I mean, Stefan and Ava are going to have to roll over hard on Clyde or they're both going to go to prison. All right, my fourth thing on Gabby's to-do list, I think Gabby needs to take a good hard slap at EJ Demera while she's at it. I mean, EJ Demera, 
her brother-in-law is somebody else who needs an attitude adjustment, a big attitude adjustment, either by Gabby Hernandez or somebody else, but I'd like to see Gabby do it. He has been pretty awful about her imprisonment. And yes, Gabby's hand was on the murder weapon. And, you know, I just wondered, did they dust it for other prints? Was it just her prints? I can't even remember now. She said she didn't kill Lee, but it definitely doesn't look good. So as DA... Yeah, EJ had the right to have her arrested. But if you remember, she was like his first case after becoming DA. And he didn't need to hold her in such a rough prison situation. He could have given her bail, made her surrender her passport, put her on house arrest with an ankle monitor, something to make sure she stayed put until her trial. But no, EJ went berserk. And I hate to mention real life when we're talking about soaps, but in real life, the DA who was the brother-in-law of the accused would not be involved in this case. He'd have to recuse himself because there's a huge conflict of interest. So um, if you remember, EJ went berserk on Stefan and Gabby because he was furious that they fired him from Demera Enterprises. Remember, they tricked Kristen into giving her shares by doing some kind of custody thing. They were messing with Brady and Kristen both. I can't remember exactly. And then they blackmailed Lee Shen and got his shares. And that's how they got enough power to fire EJ. But, you know, on the flip side, it's kind of karmic that Stefan and Gabby fired him. And then she wound up in jail and Stefan wound up under Clyde's thumb after they went after EJ targeted him and did him dirty. And what they were doing wasn't legal, all the blackmail and the lying and the shenanigans. Despite all that, I'm certain Gabby's coming for EJ, even if they kind of deserved a little of what he gave them. I still think she's going to try and make him pay. All right, my fifth and final thing on her to-do list, which really this should be the first thing on her to-do list. I'll say that. I put it fifth because it's the least dramatic, but it should be the first thing. Before Gabby goes after all the people on her naughty list, on her enemies list, she needs to do something nice. And that's go see all of her loved ones. Ray Fernandez has been beside himself with worry. So she needs to go see her brother. She needs to see Ariana Horton, her daughter. You know, she's missing her husband, her brother, her daughter, her baby daddy, Will Horton. Of course, when she finds out what Stefan did with Ava, she might put her other loved ones in line before Stefan because she needs to punish him, but she wants to love on the rest of her family. And of course, she really wants to see her daughter. Let's hope they make that happen. It might happen off screen is what I'm guessing. If I remember correctly, I'm trying to think back. I think Will and Sonny are in New Zealand right now. They were in Arizona and then there was a movie thing. And I think they're in New Zealand. Um, down near Australia, chilling out. And Allie Horton is down there with them with her little son, Henry. So they are quite a ways away from Salem. But if Gabby's released and exonerated, she can always just hop a jet to see them. But if she's released released pending trial, they would have to come to Salem to see her. Either way, I definitely want Gabby to have a sweet reunion with her daughter, her brother, her baby daddy, and her husband, at least until she finds out what he did and snaps on him. So here's what I'm curious about. Ava tells Stefan on Monday, no one can ever know what they did. I'm sure he agrees, but I expect Gabby will find out anyway. So I wonder how she hears about it. I don't know if Trip spots Stefan leaving or Wendy does, or maybe EJ figures it out because you know he'd run and tell Gabby. But maybe Stefan's guilt is more than he can take and he caves in and comes clean. No matter how it comes out, it's going to be a mess. And I cannot wait for it because a vengeful Gabby is a fabulous Gabby. And hopefully recast Gabby gets everything done on her to-do list once she's a free woman. Of course, we're still waiting on word for when we'll meet new Gabby and who it will be. The actress rumored to be stepping into the role is Sheree Jimenez, but the only official word we have is the casting call that went out late last spring for the role a couple of months after Camilla Banus wrapped her run. Wait and see. Brandon Barish was just talking about it recently and said he really would like to have Gabby back, whether it's a recast or Camilla, and that he's excited about it. So maybe they told him to go ahead and say that to get everybody's appetites whetted for recast Gabby. We'll see. Drop your comments. Please click subscribe if you haven't. Definitely come back soon. I'm here talking days with you guys seven days a week. And as always, it is Belinda from Soap Dirt. 
thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs>